Hey everyone, welcome to 3D Printing Beginner. I'm Cal, and this channel is all about sharing my 3D printing journey, the lessons I've learned, and hopefully helping other beginners along the way. I started my 3D printing journey nearly seven years ago um, with a monoprice FDM printer. It was a fairly inexpensive machine, and on paper it was actually a decent printer, or so I thought. It always took me hours, if not days sometimes, of tinkering to get a decent print on that printer. It got so frustrating that it killed my interest in 3D printing for years. Um, eventually, I got interested in, in the new 3D printer from Bamboo Labs, the uh, X1 Carbon. And after a year of watching videos and doing research, I eventually decided to pull the trigger and buy an X1 Carbon. And I can tell you that this machine is a beast, especially for beginners like you and me. Now, let's dive into today's topic, which is how to use Bamboo Studios, also known as Bamboo Slicer. This video is tailored specifically for beginners. So veterans, please bear with me. I know this may be a little slow. Um, advanced videos are in the pipeline, uh, so don't worry. And if y'all do have any advice or want to correct anything I've said, please let me know in the comments what what I have wrong and what we can do better. So what is Bamboo Studios? Bamboo Studios is a slicer for 3D printers. Instead of delving into the complex details of what a sli slicer is, let's just keep it simple. A slicer is a program that breaks down your 3D model into instructions for the printer. Those instructions are often referred to as G-code, so you may see that those terms when, when looking around the, the internet for more information. In, in the future videos, we will explore advanced options like painting. Um, we may also explore uh, adding text, resizing, um, and you know, how to cut a model. Um, but for this video, we're just going to explore the basics, like how to import and open a 3D project model, slash model, and the essential setting to slice it before sending it off to the printer. So for most beginners using Bamboo Studios, we'll likely be tapping into the Bamboo Labs Maker World. So Bamboo Labs does have their own website where you can go and find and print 3D models. Um, what's good about this for beginners is that most times these models will have already pre-sliced and, and pre-checked profiles that the designer or others have found that work very well for this model. Um, and for most of the time, we can just go ahead and hit Open in Bamboo Studios. And once we click that, it will go ahead and open that file into our Bamboo Studio um, software on the machine. You may also go and just decide that you don't want to do it that way and, and just download the file. Or if you're getting the file from another website, you can download it. And once you go to Bamboo Studios, you would just, let me put it up here. Once you open Bamboo Studios, you can go up here and go to File and Open Project. Um, Alternatively, you can also just click on Add Project here in the top, Add an Object. Now, this Bamboo Maker World does make it a breeze for beginners, so that's what I'm focused on here today, where you can just go there, tell it to open Bamboo Studios, and it comes right into here. Um, so it does make it extremely simple um, for beginners using Maker World. Now, once you have the object into this Bamboo Studios, the first thing I, I always like to do is check to make sure I have the right printer settings. So when you import these models sometimes, they're pre-sliced for a different printer setup. So for me, I just come up here and select my printer, which is the X1 Carbon. Next, I would also verify the plate type that you're using. 
I highly recommend for beginners the gold textured PI plate from Bamboo Labs. I have had massive success with the PI plate, the textured PI plates. Um, I don't know if veterans would would recommend that as well. I'd like to hear from you, get your opinions. But for me, the textured PI plate makes everything a breeze. Next, what I do is select the colors that I want my model to be. And first, I like to synchronize the colors that I currently have in the AMS. And this will then put up the model, the model color or the colors you have in your AMS. And you can select which color you want for your model. Um, alternatively, if you don't have an AMS, you can just select what filament type you'd like and the color you would like. Next step would be selecting the, the object and then choosing what color you want to be using from your AMS. Or if you just have one color on the back of the printer, you, it'd be that color by default. Then it comes to our final step that we can need to do and check before slicing, and that is checking your layer height or your quality. So layer height is going to depend on what type of quality or slash fine details you can get out of your print. The lower the, or the smaller the layer height, the finer the details you can get. Um, I typically just use a 0.2 standard, um, which is the default that they have set up for the printer. It works fantastic. Uh, during Christmas, when I'm printing gifts for my nieces and nephews, I did use the 0.2 strength, um, which I believe increases the wall and potentially the infill, the number of walls in the infill density. Um, those are settings that we will get to in future videos. But for this, we just need to select what detail level we want, whether we want 0 0.2, 0 0.16, you know, optimal, fine, extra fine, whatever you want to do. Now, before I slice, I do go and check the infill pattern. Um, many veterans have told me in the past not to use grid, as grid has a chance of damaging your nozzle. So for me, I tend to use gyroid. So once we have our color selected, we verified the printer and the build plate. We verified the infill pattern that we'd like. Now it's as simple as clicking slice up here in the top right. Once you slice that plate, it'll tell you the amount of filament you're going to use, the length of time it's going to take. And once that's been verified, all you have to do is click print. That's how easy it makes it. Now the print feature will only work if you have the printer connected to Wi-Fi and to your Bamboo Labs account. And then you also have the Bamboo Studio logged into that same account. If you're both connected to their account and they're both connected to Wi-Fi, it's as simple as clicking print. There are more advanced ways by saving that file to an SD card and then transporting that file to the printer by the SD card. And we may cover that in a future video if somebody would like. Um, to learn more about the Bamboo Slicer, check out my future videos explaining features like scaling, painting, coloring, um, or simply click the link for more content. Thank you for tuning in and happy 3D printing.